Hello and welcome to Toto TCG. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with another Pokemon video on the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be starting our journey into brilliant stars. Oh yes. So we don't have any of the um, items just yet. No, they're they're going to be coming uh, in just a few days' time, which I'm extremely excited for. Um, as as normal tradition, we have got the pre-release promos to open. Um, so bearing in mind that the brilliant stars set has this lovely new mechanic with the V stars. Now we've already opened uh, some V star boxes, as you, as you can see by uh, four acrylic markers here. Um, think of uh, a GX mixed with a VMAX. That's what a V-Star is, basically. Um, it's got that one-time move that you can flip the thing over, and obviously once you've used it, that's it. It's one per game, that's it, exactly like a GX. And they evolve into the same Pokémon, basically. It just looks a bit better and bigger, like a VMAX. Which is where the V-Star has come from. So that's the sort of mechanic that we're going to be getting. Um, there's four in the new set. Um, we won't we won't spoil what they are until obviously the set comes out. I'm pretty sure though they're on the front cover. All of them are on the front cover artworks of the packs. Now we don't have any packs normally. Like you know we go to pre-releases and all that. But with everything going on, you know what? I'm still playing it safe. We're we're still buying them. But the good thing is, is I've got them all in their packs. We've got all four of them all sealed, and they seem a bit chunky, and we'll get to that in a second. But we have all four pre-release promos. We're going to have a look through all of this. There's going to be some new cards in here, cards from the set, some rares that are probably supposed to be hollows in the set, so we can have a little look through them. Essentially, we have got Moltres, Lucario, Lipard, and Bibarel. So, an interesting mixture. I can see these two being, uh, you know, pretty interesting. Not too sure on these two just yet, but we'll have to have a little look. The barrel as a hollow is pretty funny indeed, um, and this, this one looks awesome, to be fair, I might have to get several of these if I wanted to make a deck. Um, but obviously we'll have the main stuff, like the codes on the back, which will obviously give us hopefully these four, but you never know, you might get three of one and one of the other. It's all random. But yeah, we're going to go through them one by one. We'll start off with Moltres, we'll just go through them as in their promo numbers, and uh, we'll see what we get. So let's do it. Um, so, first things first, you will notice that yes, they are a bit more chunkier than normal. Normally these are a 22 card pack, or 21. Something along that those lines, where you've got your, obviously, your promo here. Your nice, shiny, brilliant stars promo. And just to give you a little look at the set logo, there it is right there. We'll, have, we'll probably have a little look when we get to the, um, the actual packs and everything when we open the booster box. But there's the Moltres right there, an absolute gorgeous artwork to be fair, that looks brilliant. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty good. Um, Inferno Wings were one as well during a pre-release. That's pretty cool. It's got damage counters on here, um, and then it gets a bit more damage as well. So that's an interesting one. We'll have a little look, a uh, little flick through these. Now, I think there's this little tab thing that goes around here, but I'm not too sure where it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> to open this up. Now, from what I've heard, I think it's a 40 card. Like, basically, this is your pre-release bundle, so ideally you could just use this and forget about the packs. I'm going to obviously pop the, pop the code to the side, because I obviously want that for my uh, online -aries. Um But yeah, we've got that lovely Moltres, and obviously once you get it out of the pack, you can see a lot more shine right there. We'll pop that to the side there, and straight away you're probably seeing one thing that you're like, hold on, they're never in the pre-release boxes. We'll get to that in a second. So sleeve this one up, very very cool indeed, 120 fire Pokemon, Inferno Wings, 20 plus, if this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, it does 70 more damage, so 90, um, pretty cool, it is weak to water, and only a one retreat cost, so pretty interesting, we'll pop that to the back, let's have a little look though, let's bring this down a little bit, just so we can focus on that, you can see already the start of our new energies, look at these, they look glorious, very very cool, sort of like a um, an explosion slash dropped in the ocean type thing, like this little thing has gone into a pond, you can see the ripples, and also like a little star explosion or something like that. Very, very cool. Ha! Brilliant stars! Might be why that's, uh, why this is like this. So, I think we get a ton of energy, so there's loads of energy in here, so rather than you having to clamber over to the boxes um, with all the players there, there's also grass as well, they basically give you energy right here. Pretty sure it's going to be like a 10-10. Line 6, 7. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it might be 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, that's already a new card from this set. I think this might be a hollow. I could be wrong. 
Professor's research is Professor Rowan. So this is from the diamond, uh, the shining pearl and uh, brilliant diamond. Yeah, that's the right one. <laughs> um, the Professor's research was Professor Rowan. It's discard your hand and draw seven cards. Very good during a pre-release, just to dump off some energies. Two of those. That's pretty cool. New stadium card from this set, Magma Basin. So once during each player's turn, that player may attach a fire energy card from their discard pile to one of their bench fire Pokemon. If a player attaches energy to a Pokemon in this way, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Right, it's a nice way of doing it with Moltres there. And then that charges that up. So one of those. We've got Karina's Focus. Draw cards until you have six in your hand. Very, very cool. New card as well. We've got Gloria. So search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon that don't have a rule box. Right, so that takes out the VGX, that type of thing with a rule box. Very cool. Very nice. That's from Sun and Moon, isn't it? She's from Sun and Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not Sun and Moon. Uh, <laughs> can't think of it now. Sword and Shield. There we go. Because that's the starting house. Very cool. Uh, no, oh, no, hold on. That's from the new set. What am I doing? Cynthia's Ambition. This one's from the new set as well. So draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw cards until you have eight cards in your hand instead. That's not too bad. Very, very cool. Okay. Barry. Okay. This one's from uh, Diamond and Pearl. So this is draw three cards. So like your Hop or your How um, and other... <laughs> other well-known uh, folk as well that do that. Oh, we got the Badoof and Barry's in the background. That's pretty cool. Some Starlies in the tree. This is a gorgeous artwork, to be fair. Wow, that looks brilliant. Just roll out for 30. Very, very cool. Oh, we do get the Barrels as well. That's cool. So this is the red. This is normally a hollow in the set. This is pretty cool. Let's have a little look. Industrious and Scissors. Obviously, we're going to have the pre-release promo of this, but we'll go through it. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. Okay, interesting. So... Really seeing a lot of, like, draw power here to sort of get yourself up. But during pre-release, you do have a lot of cards, let's be honest. Um, Tail Smash for 100. Flip a coin if Tails is attacked as nothing. Ooh. I think you're playing that for the ability more, I think. Ooh, we're going to get the Turtwig line. That's going to be cool. So we get Turtwig right here. That is a gorgeous artwork. Look at that bad boy. Oh, he is lovely. Bite and Headbutt Bounce. Probably get th two. Only two, Okay. Grottle as well, looking absolutely amazing. Sundrench Shell, once during your turn you may search your deck for a grass Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. That's pretty cool. So a nice way of obviously getting the uh, next evolution, Torterra. It doesn't say basic, does it? No, that is literally a grass Pokemon. We do get Torterra as well, very, very cool. Evo Press for 50 plus, 50 times, sorry. This attack does 50 damage for each of your evolution Pokemon in play. Right, okay, that's not too bad. That can be pretty uh, destructive, should I say. Hammering for 160 as well. I think you want to be going for that Evo Press to get maximum damage going on there. 190 as well, pretty tanky. Two of those. We do get a Moltres. Oh, we're going to get, oh, get a Fire Line as well. Normal Moltres. I'm not too sure whether this is a hollow in the set, but we'll probably wait and see. Chimchar, glorious right here. He's got some pinups, he's got some Nabba berries, uh, some other berries. I only recognize these two from Pokemon Go. Um, he's loving life. Maybe a leper berry there, maybe. I'm not too sure. That is a gorgeous artwork. Wow, that's amazing. That's going to be a lovely reverse hollow. An interesting looking Monferno as well. Very, very cool. Flare for 30, fl flamethrower for 50, discard an energy. Okay, and then we probably do get Infernape. Yeah, pretty sure this is a hollow as well. So, Infernal Vortex, 80 times, so just one energy. Reveal the top five cards of your deck. This attack does 80 damage for each energy card you find there. Then discard those energy cards and shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Nice way of obviously going through your energies, dumping in the discard pile. Magma Basin comes in, shove them on more stuff. Burning Kick for just 160. Discard all energy from this Pokemon. And you can charge that up literally the next turn with Magma Basin because you've discarded the energy. You can attach for turn and the Magma Basin adds them. Admittedly, okay, you are putting 20 damage counters on it, but you can charge 160 up very quickly. That is quite scary. Wow. Interesting cards for that pre-release kit. That is pretty cool indeed. Plus, obviously, you do get the energies. I'm pretty sure this is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, that's 7 there. Is this 7 or is this a bit more? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, you do get more. So you get 10 of this. So that's 17 energies. Interesting. 17 energies, and the rest are pretty cool. Only one old card as well. 
Only one Karina's Focus. Very, very interesting. Normally you do get littered with some of the old cards, a maximum sort of uh, new cards in that deck. So, very, very cool. Let's move on to our second one, which is Lucario. See what this one's like, see what we can get in this one. We'll uh, open this one up and then have a look at the attack and ability. Quite like this uh, little pack thingy that they've got going. Hopefully they do continue doing this. I don't know whether this is just due to not trying to get people to like intermingle at the energy piles. I don't, I'm don't. i not too sure, but I think it's a pretty smart move, really. Especially when they do give you fire and grass in here. Unless you pull a V or a V Max. Uh, or so, yeah, V Max, sorry. Yeah, they are still applicable. Or V Star. Alright, so we've got Lucario here. Of course, it does evolve from Riolu, which will probably be in this pack. We've got 120 here. Brilliant Stars logo. Looks amazing. So, the ability here. Once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on this Pokemon. If you do, search your deck for an energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. Right, okay. And then we've got Aura Sphere Volley. 100, uh, sorry, 10 plus, where am I getting the 100? That's for just two fighting, so discard all fighting energy uh, from this Pokemon. This attack does 60 more damage for each card you discard in this way. Right. And it's not you may, it's discard. You have to discard it. And the fact that it does need two fightings, probably best that you put two fightings on it. That's pretty cool. What's that, 130? That's not too bad. Very interesting Riolu. Let's have a little look what's in this little uh, set here. I'm pretty sure this is going to be fire and fighting. So we get the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 fire. Maybe we get 8 of these. There's our fighting. So we've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So there is... Seems to be an ongoing thing at the moment where there's 17 energies. 8 and 9 there. So we get... Oh, we get Ultra Ball back in this set. Oh... <laughs> Yay! Ultra Ball, discard two other cards from your hand and then you can search your, uh, search for a Pokemon. It can be any any type, really. Pretty, really good card, obviously. It's a really big staple, um, probably in a lot of decks. A lot of ball search at the moment. Obviously, we're going to need that when stuff starts to rotate. So this is this is quite sort of like uh, up there as like you do kind of need this. Um, it is from the set, obviously, and you can see it's got the F marker, which means it's obviously going to uh, carry on for quite a while. This is the first time it's really come come back. Lovely artwork, and I'm pretty sure it's got a gold card as well, so that's going to be pretty interesting. We've got Professor Professor's Research, sorry, we've got one of them. Magma Basin, Energy Recycler. Oh, okay, interesting. Shuffle up to five basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Okay, odd, odd. Odd, okay. Cynthia's Ambition, we've seen that one, but we've got that one in here. Oh, hello. Oh, we got two copycats. So this, oh, okay, this set's got a little bit more from older sets. So copycat, we've got a Bruno as well. We have got a Barry to draw three. Oh, cast form, okay, interesting choice. Uh, double draw, draw two cards. Okay, fair enough. Uh, then Hurricane for 30, move a basic energy card from this Pokemon to one of your be- Oh, okay, a little bit of damage, possibly gets knocked out next turn, but you've charged up another Pokemon a little bit from doing this. Very cool. What's that say? Its form changes depending on the weather. The rougher conditions get, the rougher cast form's dis disposition. <laughs> okay, only one of those, fair enough. We do get that Riolu as well. Where is that? That is very nice. I love when they put the backgrounds of some of the different areas. Oh, oh, I remember. what That's the library, isn't it? And that's before... Um, spoilers, but I'm pretty sure everyone's finished it. I'm pretty sure you go across the bridge. There's a gym down here somewhere. You do the gym, and he says, Oh, okay, come back to the library. You go in the library, and there's there may, might be an, exp an explosion that goes off. That's all I'm saying. I'm pretty sure this is where that is. Love it when they do this from the game. It's very, very cool. Three Riolus. Okay, we're liking that. Probably get two Lucarios. No yes, we do. Okay. Uh, again, I think this is a hollow in the set, so nice to see it in this sort of normal rare form. It's quite nice because sometimes hollows are quite hard to get from a booster box. I know that sounds stupid when you get about six, but when you're looking for one specifically, this can really help. So we get two of those. Very, very cool. We've gone through that. Moltres, an another one. And then we get the Chimchar, Monferno, and Infernape line again. All right, interesting. That one's got a little bit more of the older cards, really. There's an Energy Recycler sat in here somewhere, Matthew. Take that out. Take that out. That does not deserve to be in that pile. Get out. Right, okay. Interesting. So, so far, Mon uh, Moltres, sorry, giving you more 
bang for your buck, if you want to call it that, uh, without getting uh, duplicates from like last sets and everything like that. Very, very cool. Interesting stuff. Loving all of uh, the stuff going on here. Really starts to get my mind going as if I'm about to start a pre-release. Like, what am I going to do turn two? What's going to happen on this turn? What's going on? What's, <laughs> what's he going to be playing? All right. Let's have a look at our next one now. We have got Lipard here. Very interesting one to choose, but I have a, I have a very big feeling about the ability here being quite useful in maybe a few months. If not, almost automatically when this set comes out really because uh, it's uh, probably one of the fan favorites just saying there's Lipard right there very very cool climbing a tree not too sure if that's from uh, any of I mean it's gonna be quite hard to distinguish that tree from a certain section of a game isn't it you know <laughs> right there we go so it's 100 HP dark Pokemon of course it does evolve from Purloin and what's that the ability trade oh dear it's Zoroark but just not a GX once you must discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability and once during your turn you may draw two cards boom bang so my guess is we might get a 2-2 line or maybe a 3-2 line in here which means you can probably get two trades going off this thing could be the new Zoroark although it's very weak I like the fact that it's quite weak because you can easily knock this out if you've got a grass type deck boom this thing's gone um, so it's going to be very very interesting to see what we can do with this Interesting during a pre-release because you can just sit this on the bench and just sit this on the bench and that's it. Slash for 60 for just two colourless. It's not too bad. You might want to just charge it up in the background. Maybe just give it one energy and then when need be put it up. Maybe trade it. Maybe use trade and then do a slash and it might get knocked out. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, interesting. Like the look of it. Don't think it's a hollow in the set per se. It might just be a rare, although we'll probably find out when I've seen it. It's a lot of the stuff I can remember when it's a hollow or not. Okay, so we do get fire energies. Are we going to get some dark? Maybe thinking yes. Oh no, we just get. A oh my goodness me. We get okay. We just get a load of fire energy. Fair enough. So that's 17 fire energies. Right. Well, these pre-releases uh, like fire energy. So if you're a fan of fire energy and this new uh, look, these pre-releases are for you. All right, we've got a Magma Basin, so we've almost got a playset of this. Let's keep this going. That'd be pretty cool, because I think this is going to be a pretty good card. Oh, we've got an interesting new card. Karina's Focus, one of those. Friends in Gala. Oh, yeah. Very, very cool. So we've got Marnie, we've got Gloria, we've got uh, Bead, uh, we've got this dude, I'm not too sure. We've got Hop. Is that Hop? It is Hop. Um, it's a backpack on the floor. What looks like a bell and a ball? Yeah, interesting. It's just draw three cards, but it's very cool. I'm pretty sure this has a full art somewhere, but I don't think it's in this set. Probably be... Well, honestly, we'll probably get it in a special set in eight months' time, probably, knowing knowing us. Um, Cynthia's, Cynthia's Ambition again, I can't speak. Copycat, another one of those. We've got Barry times two. Two Barrys. Interesting. Purloin, liking this one. Very, very cool. I don't know about you, but I, I prefer pur Purloin when it's sort of on, on four feet, rather than standing up. It freaks me out in Pokemon Go, because I'm like, what is that Pokemon? I just think it should look more like this. It looks cute. It looks very cute. Oh, he's got a succulent in the background as well. A little pokey, pokey doll up there. What is that in the frame? Let me see if I can get that. Is that a Florgeous or just a flower? That might just be a flower. That's some berries, maybe, and some paint. Very cool. I really love these artworks. Wow. Surprise attack for 30. Flip coin, if tails, this attack does nothing. Yikes, don't use it. Two purloins. Oh, we do get light parts. Okay, how many do we get? Do we just get one? Yes, we do. Ooh, ooh we get Burmese? Ooh, okay, we'll get to that in a second. Um, right, off the top of my head, I do not believe this to be a hollow. This isn't ringing any bells to be a hollow. So the only way of getting a hollow is that one or get a reverse. And then you can start getting some trades off. Lovely artwork again. Really, really cool. Doing a smashing job with these artworks. Let's have a little look at this Burmy line. Are we going to get both uh, Motham and Wormadam? Let's have a little look. So we've got Burmy. All three of them. We've got Hang Down. That's an interesting move. Three, I'm guessing? Yeah, three of those. Okay. So three Burmy. We do get the Motham with Raid. 30 plus. If this Pokemon evolved from Burmy during this turn, this attack does 90 more damage. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Where is this? Is that, is that, what, what's this? 
What's that? That looks like it's from a game, but I'm not too sure which one. Hmm. Um, I love how you can actually see all three of them up there as well. Very, very cool. Gust as well for 80. You probably want to be doing raid and then get it out of there. It has free retreat as well. That's pretty cool. I didn't see that. Two Mothams. Okay. We do get the Moltres and another Chimchar line. Wow. We have a play set of Infern Apes already. And they're not hollow. That's cool. Very, very nice. Alright. So, what do we get from there? We got only just two. Only two. Okay. Alright, let's move that over there. This is looking pretty cool. Last one. Best to last, hopefully. We got the barrel here. I do love this artwork. It looks absolutely amazing. Let's get this one open and see what we've got. Anything different in this one? Maybe another Torterra line. I'd like to see that. Maybe not so much fire. Let's have a little look. Code off to the side there. There's our beautiful barrel. Oh, we get fire. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll have to deal with that. That's fine. Look at this artwork, though. Oh, it's glorious. He's he's having a whale of a time, isn't he? He's just enjoying life. Absolutely enjoying life. Very, very cool. Brilliant stars. So we have had a look at this already. It's obviously that uh, once during your turn, you may draw until you have five cards in your hand. Now, obviously, if you've got two of these, it doesn't say you can only use one of these abilities. So if you've got two of these on the bench, boom, you can draw. Use a load of stuff, hopefully, it's pre-release, so you might not be able to, but draw, and then you can draw again, and just get a load more stuff, and really start loading stuff up very, very quickly, which is really, really nice indeed. Um, very, very cool. Very nice. Pop that to the back there. Let's have a look at what this one gives us. So, do we have a whole stack of fire energies? Oh, no, we get grass as well. Okay, that means we might get a Torterra, or it could be Birmingham, Wormad uh, Birmingham Moth, I'm sorry. So let's have a look, look we we'll go past all the grass and everything, so we're guaranteed about 17 energies, basically. What do we get, though, in terms of trainer support? We get a Professor's Research times two, that's pretty cool. Magma Basin, we've already got a playset of that, again, that's very, very nice. Karina's Focus, nice staple. Gloria, Cynthia's Ambition, Barry. Seems like we're going to get the uh, the exact same one from the first one, let's have a little look. Though we got Badoof and a Bibarrel, so it's a 1-2 line. Ooh, that seems a bit weak. Oh, you want to get maybe another Badoof or two in your packs or something. Does seem like we're going to have the same. We've got two Turtwigs, two Grottles, two Torterras, one Moltres, two Chimchar, two Monferno, and two Infernate. I quite like how they've got the weaknesses to sort of back counterbalance each other. No water stuff, though. So, you're looking pretty good if you do play Moltres. I haven't come across any water stuff. Not, not unless it's hiding somewhere. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be an interesting. I think this is sort of like your one to be on the bench. This is more your forward stuff, especially with Magma Base, and you want to be obviously uh, getting all that sorted. So, very, very interesting stuff there. Um, I'm just a little bit disappointed that you only get one Badoof and one Barrel. Just need to pull a load of Badoof. I just lo I love the fact that you get Badoof and Barry. And they work together. They synergize. Even if you revolve it into bar Barrel. The Barrel and Barry. It just works. <laughs> very, very cool. Right. Well, that went very well, I have to say. Well, obviously, we didn't pull anything, but we did get, obviously, our four lovely promos right here. Let's just have a little up close look at all of them in sleeves, which is what everyone wants to see, of course. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Oh, stay there. Let's hold all of them together. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Boom. There we go. Very, very nice. None of the logos are on different sides. There's some sets where I've seen like the Brilliant Stars, or not the Brilliant Stars, but the logo jumped over here. It's never been up here, but sometimes it does jump over here. I think that's just depending on the artwork. Really, really good stuff here. What one do I think is going to be pretty good? I think if I was in a pre-release, to be honest though, if you get the barrel, you got a Moltres. If you got Moltres, you got the barrel. This one was the only one that gave us the Birmingham Motham. I'm not too sure whether that was just a, a bit of a thing, and they might have appeared in the other three. Um, I do quite like the trade, the trade thing, and the fact that you get a two-two. That's pretty good constant drawing. This has got a limitation on five, which can be quite uh, during a pre-release. This one's interesting for the charge up. This one is hitting 90 for one energy, which is pretty cool, and it gets some good evolutions. I'm probably going to say I probably want to go... 
Oh, I'd probably want to do a joint first for Lipard and Lucario, then Moltres, and then unfortunately I'd probably have to put Bibarel, only because the ability is okay. But probably in like actual games that can be quite useful, if, especially if you've got one card in hand and you can just be like, okay, Bibarel. Um, but the attack is useless, really, because you're relying on a coin flip. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to have to go with Lucario and Lipard first, Moltres second, and Bibarel coming in very close but I think in terms of artwork for myself, the barrel wins it. So there we go. He does have something on him. Um, but yeah, really, really cool indeed stuff there. Um, we're going to be having loads of stuff coming up. We've got booster boxes. We've got triple blisters. Um, we've even got some additional stuff. There's some new tins coming out. We've got uh, a new th new theme deck, not theme deck, sorry, the battle decks, they're coming out. So we've got a load of stuff coming up on the channel. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button for more stuff. Obviously, comment down below as well what your favourite uh, promo is out of those, or, you know, cards from what we've opened here. Very, very interesting uh, opening to have a look at this, and obviously we've already started our collection as of now. So yeah, I'll leave it here for this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video on the channel.